there are opportunities for the students, I think, at NIDA that are extraordinarily unique. What I mean is in one moment it will be something quiet, it will be a, a simple skill in a studio. And then in another moment, it'll be a piece of group work within that cohort. And then the next second, they're stepping onto set. And then the next moment, they're working with a designer on a production. Like the amount of investment, I think, that goes into a student's training and the variety that NIDA offers is really unique in Australia. And it's a pretty exciting place to train. Oh, Scene 26, take one. Mark it. Hey, my name's Roman Dello and I'm a 2019 graduate of the NIDA acting course. I'm Rachel Crossan and I'm in the second year singing actor stream. Coming to NIDA, I came in as like a sort of very green, young 18 year old. I think coming to this place was transformative for me in the sense that I really worked out who I was in quite formative years, I feel and then also the kind of actor that I wanted to be. I think that was informed a lot by the people around me, but also as an artist, I think you keep changing, yeah. right? It's not something that you set yeah. in stone here and then you're like, well, this is what I'm gonna be forever. No, it's like it's, it, it wakes you up to the idea that yeah. you will forever be changing. Exactly. And that's yeah. great. Hello, I'm John Bashford. I'm the head of acting here at NIDA. Hi, I'm Nicole Stinton, and I'm the head of music here at NIDA. The course is actually framed in a very particular way. The first year really is about the self. Who are you? What do you get for nothing? Where are you at this moment in time? And the acquisition of skills. The second year we term the other, which is really about the transformation of the actor. How do you move to that which you're not? How do you take what you've got, move to a character that you have no connection to? We have a variety of projects that sit alongside the acting training that enable actors to explore through laboratory other techniques, other ways in, so that they are reaching beyond their comfort zone and leaning into those areas of challenge. And I think that's a really interesting area for the actor because actually it's, it's, the, it's the space that will really develop the imagination. Speaking specifically about the Singing Actor program, the singing actors will specialise specifically in theatre with music. So it really builds on functional skills as well, but then stretching them into areas so that they can take more diverse roles. So by the end, they've really got that toolkit and they're ready to face any challenge on set, on stage, or whatever else the industry starts to create. And they can be creative, curious, fantastic. The variety of different techniques and styles, whether it be, you know, multiple different movement styles or singing classes and aerial work and now with this amazing mocap stuff that you guys are introducing, I think it can only help better an actor in their training. For me, I felt like it gave me a little toolbox to fall back on when challenges do arise. Do you know what I mean? It means that you walk out of here knowing, okay, I know that kind of whatever is going to get thrown at me, I can fall back on the training and go, okay, I can handle this, which is very empowering, I think. The structure of the course is designed to scaffold and build and intersect across the disciplines so that uh, the warp and weft of the, of the training produces a, you know, a rich tapestry in the actor that is ready for the professional year. And the third year we do regard as professional year. We introduce students to industry and we are well positioned to have extraordinary networks and avail ourselves of, of really, really interesting practitioners. Um, just to give an example, last year we had a director come and work with our students for a workshop and then they're off working on a mainstream uh, television series and, and that sort of intersection for the actors is, is so useful and as a result students are working. We're about relationship building yeah. as well. So whether that's relationship building within the cohort, whether that's relationship building with the designers, with the stage managers, with the writers, with the directors, and whether that's also relationship building with people in industry. I think one of the best things about coming to NIDA is that you immediately get connected with a whole, a huge number yeah. of other actors and designers and costume designers. And it's a huge, huge network that I mean, I've not yet been on a job where I haven't run into someone either from NIDA or connected with the building yeah. in some way. I remember on my first job coming out of NIDA, I, it was my first day on set and I was just sitting there waiting in the trailer and this one of the designers a couple of years ahead of me came up out of the blue and he, and he was like, hey Roman, how are you going? And I was, because I was so nervous that day, seeing someone that I knew from the building, it just immediately gave me that sense of comfort that, oh, I know A, people in Sydney, but also people in, the industry, you know what I mean? It's a really, it's a beautiful feeling. There's like a, 
the community. The community yeah, yeah, exactly. One of the things that's really interesting about the training and the course that we are running and developing is that it is developing and it's in a constant state of growth. We're able to bring in new ideas, new projects. And one of the things that we're recognizing is that the need to develop our screen offer for actors has increased. So there are more projects in that area. Within the screen training, we're encouraging more and more self-generated content. Um, this is to empower actors so that you, know, you can create content, you can make work. And I think that's something that's really important for the future. I, I don't feel like I have a one dream role in particular. This is my thing, how do you pick one? Yeah. I don't know, every time I think I know what I want, especially here, I think I realize very quickly how much more there is. And so I feel like the dream role's out there, but I just don't, I haven't met it yet. Mm, that's exciting. They're out there somewhere. Yeah. There's still time to find it. Gotta find it, yeah. that's it. Yeah.